his mind out as well so he needs to he will want to go out and expand again we'll see where this scv is going i think it's just rally pointed to scout yeah it's just going to scout around to see exactly what is going on this scv is going to die probably soon i don't know oh he does not he stays out of the range actually no intercepted by shui right there uh, anyways, Shui just keeping a few Zerglings around the map uh, around the uh, map just to see exactly what is going on. I'm sure he does see that STV going around. Um, that is a huge army right there for, for Shake again. There's five Thors and a bunch of Marines and a bunch of Hellions. So sticking with this Thor Hellion Marine army, actually getting one tank right now. Take a look back at the production tab. A few medivacs on the way, two more tanks, more weapon uh, level, level upgrades. So he does have one one on his Thors, on his mech units, and he has one one on his, actually that was just one. He has one uh, weapon upgrade for his mechanical units and then one weapon, one armor for his infantry units. Now Banelings on are, are coming onto the field as well as a greater spire, so we might see some brood war play, uh, brood lord play, spraying some more creeps and uh, a few corruptors. So yes, he is going to go brood lords. Brood lords are relatively effective against mech units, but he does have to micro correctly engage with his ground army at the right time so that his brood lords can be effective. Now uh, trying to spread creep, but <laughs> Shake is making it very, very hard on him. He does have a lot of uh, Hellions, but of course, the mass Hellions or this amount of Hellions against this amount of Roaches, the Roaches will win every single time. Shui's fourth is up; it's almost running. You'd see there is another in, uh, an, an in base hatch right here, so he is working off of four. Yes, I believe four. No, five. Five hatcheries going to be able to produce a lot of units from that. Seeking mainly with Hydralis being using a few roaches to tank the damage and a few banelings as well. We'll see what happens with that. Oh, actually, a couple more uh, roaches right here to tank more damage. Now, Shui uh, is, or Shake is moving out. He did take out those destructible rocks, so if he was building a command center, he can just fly that over. He was indeed, so he can fly that over. Actually, I don't know if that was made or if that was, yes, that was made. My mistake. Um, sometimes what you'll see is <laughs> Uh, when players are lazy, they'll just lift off their main after the main has been mined out and then move it somewhere. But anyways, um, there's a huge, huge army right here. They are, he is maxed out. Let's take a look at the army type. 172 for Shui, 200 for um, Shake. So very rarely will you see Terran maxed out and uh, Zerg not maxed out. But Shui is quickly getting there. Um, we see le weapons level 3 and for infantry and for mech units coming up. Uh, I think he's going to push as soon as that is done. Actually, no, he is being uh, engaged by these brood lords right now. The brood lords are on the field. And he needs to be careful not to get these sniped because the marines can go in and focus fire down the, uh, the brood lords, which he did right there. There was uh, three brood lords that just went down. There's two more in the back. Um, the siege tank sieging up and doing a lot of damage against his uh, hydralist and going to be <laughs> on the losing end of that. Um, that battle for sure, trying to pop up and wall, uh, run away, but he, those Hydralis just died in an instant. Of course, Hydralis cannot burrow underground, and uh, even burrowing underground, they do move slower than if they were unburrowed. So this one, one rush is chilling in the bottom, um, not doing anything. Oh, but the scan does go down, and he is killed. Now that is a lot. There's four siege tanks laying siege right now. He is this choke is just devastating right now because you can't get a good concave onto this army. There's four siege tanks on the field. Oh, gonna be able to hit that hatchery with those medivacs spotting the high ground. Gonna be able to take out this hatchery even though this hatchery, this uh, natural, is mined out. That is gonna be a uh, one less. Sorry about that. One less um, producing hatchery. So that is uh, still a decently sized army, but these. Those uh, Thors taking the damage and these uh, siege tanks just hitting, uh, or just supporting them from the back is going to be very, very hard to break his contain. I think once he um, takes out this hatchery, I think Shake is going to move back and just, um, yeah, just regroup right now. I like this from Shake. Of course, Karen can't regroup their army as fast as, uh, or re macro up their army as fast as Zerg can. So uh, do some damage, pull back, make sure you're at 190 or maxed out even, and then push in again. Just do a little bad damage, uh, pull back out because you do, you can uh, repair your units, or at least your mech units. Actually, you can repair your infantry units too with your medevac. So uh, <laughs> those Marines were almost uh, poorly uh, queued again. Or, or, or rally again, but he does pull him back just in time. 
Uh, the fourth is up and running. A scan does go down. He is going to be able to see this. And once he sees this, then uh, he, his army is going to move out because he knows that his natural is mined out. He's, he thinks that he has him contained on either two or three bases. And he sees the scan and he does see that third base. So he's going to move up there, try to snipe that off. But in the uh, all at the same time, there is a mid uh, engagement in the mid oh, middle of the map. Wow, that was hard to say. Um, these tanks are sieging up. Going to be able to do a lot of damage on that uh, clumped up army right there. Um, even if he just flanks them, Chewie won't be able to do that much of a damage because that is a huge army. Even some Vikings out on the field to deal with those Broodlords. Now, Chewie knows that he can't engage his army straight on, so he is going to go and try to hit up uh, Shake's base. Shake trying to get to that uh, base, but he, he realizes that his, uh, ter his gold is under attack. Uh, the SCV should be repairing this. No, actually, he's going to be able to hold this off with two tanks, a bunch of Marines, and uh, a few... And even the planetary forces. Planetary forces do a very, very good job holding off um, a decently sized army such as that one, especially with uh, repairing SCVs. Now that is a huge army on the field for uh, Shake. We'll take a look at the army tab. It's 197, all but maxed out. He is maxed out now. And um, yeah, that's a huge army. And try to engage his army, Shui is with his um, smaller army, but. Right now, he is just outclassed for, uh, in terms of army sizes. He has two two uh, low, uh, upgrades for his uh, hydralis, for his corruptors. He has nothing or, or any three lords. The uh, tanks or the mech units do have a three upgrade as well. So uh, Shake just often to go mass mass uh, aggression, and Shu is forced to call the GG because he knows that that's a huge army. He can't re macro up with just that limited amount of uh, minerals he did mine out of his third and now the fourth was the only one mining way oversaturated his income for per second was definitely lower actually i don't know why that was so low for shake shake should be a lot higher but maybe he was transferring some uh, scvs i don't know but anyways um yeah, so very, very well played by both players. I mean, Shake was being, it was his early Hellion aggression was very, very devastating, and I think that was pretty much what won the game for him, was being able to cripple uh, Shui in the early stages of the game and keep him from uh, taking over this whole entire side of the map. All right, well, if you like this cast, make sure you thumbs me up, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment down below. If you didn't, tell me what you didn't like in a comment, and I'll try to work on that for the next time. Thanks for watching, guys.